Rachel. I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm doing well. So uh, for lack of a better term, uh, your character is sort of the villain of the show, but also we get to kind of see her struggle throughout at least the first episode of why she ends up kind of being in the position that she's in. Um, and so for you as an actor, what was it like kind of getting to explore that journey in, it was only really that one episode, but it is a very important to her character arc throughout the rest of the season. Um, I do apologize because it was slightly lagging. So I might, I've only heard um, parts of your question. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> so what, what was, what was the bit? I'm so sorry because I know it's short time. What was the bit that you said just before? Um, were you asking about the arc? Yeah, how was it like doing it in such like the first episode and getting to explore that? Yeah, well, I think that was amazing. Everything that Merwin is, her her drive comes from that first episode, that, that desire to be heard and to be listened to and acknowledged because she's got all this information and knowledge about the history, um, about, yeah, all, all, everything that made the elf world what it is. She has about and escaped into and that's her childhood has been reading those books and so she thinks she knows what's better for the world how to get back to the golden era and to be an architect for this new kind of world and so that is her drive throughout and it's just people around her because she was in this patriarchal monarchy uh, tend not to listen to her um, and that's what gets her un upset and uh, and determined to change their mind. Yeah, and uh, obviously this is a, a prequel to The Witcher that we know but it is still The Witcher. Uh, was it daunting for you to kind of try mm -hmm. and join that world or were you just like no I want to be a part of this? I was definitely like I want to be a part of this but I most certainly was aware of how how amazing this world already is and and the love there is for the Witcher world, um, which I also share in. So I know there are loads of people and I was I had watched one and was sort of really excited about this, the magic of it, that it just was a brilliant world. And so to be a part of it was an absolute honor. But yeah, it was I was definitely nervous uh joining at, at the start. And still <laughs> <laughs> um yeah and obviously this is our first introduction to your character and it's very exciting what do you hope people take away when they get to meet her oh I think I think what people take away that some people so uh, she's somebody who wasn't listened to and it pushed her to some extremes and I think it's it's just to to not judge books by their covers, I guess, and to give like listen to each other. <laughs> I think I think so. I'm not saying that everything that happens is because of everyone else. Maybe that's Merwin <laughs> chatting in my much. Maybe I'm I I've got too much. Love. I know she she and I have different hearts, but um, I guess I guess that she that that it's good to listen to each other and, and care. <laughs> uh, it was perfect. Uh, thank you so much. I can't wait for everyone to get to see the blood origin.